The Hyuga class is one of the most essential assets of Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, shortly JMSDF. At first glance, many may say that two helicopter destroyers of this class have similar design logic to their big sisters, the Izumo class. Yet, they are different. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Hyuga class, the half-century dream of Japan. Due to its shape, the classification of helicopter destroyer for the Hyuga class naturally causes a rightful debate. These two surface combatants look like aircraft carriers, but if we look at the details, we might see differently. To better understand the Hyuga class, let's look at its historical background and features. A half-century dream for Japan is one of the most accurate definitions for the Hyuga class. This dream goes back to the late 1940s. Japan was demilitarized after the Second World War. However, due to quickly rising tension between the communist and the free world, the US-led Western allies began to need a stronghold in the Pacific. So, they permitted Japan to have the Maritime Safety Agency in 1948. It was just the first step in rebuilding a navy. In 1952, Tokyo intended to acquire an escort aircraft carrier for the anti-submarine warfare mission for this paramilitary force. Washington was also favorable to this plan. Two years later, Japan founded the Self-Defense Forces. The naval part of this force, the JMSTF, took over the aircraft carrier procurement plan from the Japanese Maritime Safety Agency. While the negotiations continued for an SX-class ship's transfer, Japan changed its mind in 1959. In the same year, the dream, which led to the Hyuga class, began and Tokyo decided to build an indigenous ship. It would be a helicopter carrier, carry 18 Sea Kings and operate three helicopters simultaneously. This vessel would have no fixed-wing aircraft and command the escort fleet. As you see, its design philosophy was highly similar to the Hyuga class, but the JMSTM would have to wait to realize this dream. The helicopters of the time were not as effective for anti-submarine warfare missions as today. Also, the ship would have a high cost. So, Tokyo terminated the program and decided to build lots of cost-effective conventional destroyers. In 1967, Tokyo initiated the third defense build-up plan. According to this plan, the JMSDF needed escort fleets, which consisted of 8 surface combatants and 6 to 8 anti-submarine warfare helicopters to deal with the threat of the new Soviet nuclear submarines. Initially, Japan intended to build the 8,300-ton helicopter destroyers capable of carrying 6 helicopters. However, due to budget problems, Tokyo decided to commission 2 Haruna-class and 2 Shirana-class destroyers instead. These vessels could accommodate three Sea Kings. We may also mention the Japanese intention to build an aircraft carrier with the Harrier jump jet against the Soviet bombers with long-range anti-ship missiles in the 1970s. In the 1980s, this plan was abandoned, but it led to the construction of the Izumo class later. A new hope arose in 1998 when Japan began a study for the successor of the Haruna class. After this study, in 2000, the JMSTF decided it was time to build an actual helicopter carrier. As the child of this decision, the first ship, JS Hyuga, was ordered in 2004. She was laid down in 2006 and launched in 2007. After half a century from the original plan, the JMSTF commissioned its first helicopter carrier in 2009. The second ship, JS Ise was ordered in 2006 and commissioned in 2011. The hull and the superstructure of the Hyuga class have a design to reduce the radar cross-section. The motorboats placed in the hull are covered by low radar cross-section cover to ensure stealth. Still, we should accept that the surface of the Hyuga class is not smooth for a stealth ship. The island-type superstructure is on the starboard side. It has a length of 70 meters and a width of 9 meters. The bridge is on the fourth floor. The air traffic control room is at the rear 
and on the same level as the bridge. The ship's Joint Operations Center and Combat Information Center are on the second floor of the island. The medical room of the Hyuga class includes 8 beds and an intensive care unit. The 19,000 ton Hyuga class has the same propulsion system as the 9,500 ton Congo class destroyers. But thanks to the well-designed hull of the Hyuga class, it has the same maximum speed as the Congos. According to the JMSDF official website, the complement of the Hyuga class is about 380 person. The ship has a length of 197 meters, a beam of 33 meters and a drought of 7 meters. Its standard weight is 13,950 tons while its fully loaded displacement is 19,000 tons. The combined gas and gas configuration propulsion system consists of four 25,000 horsepower IHI GE LM 2530 gas turbines. The maximum speed of the Hyuga class is 30 knots. The ship's OYQ-10 Advanced Combat Reaction System, supported by artificial intelligence technology, can discriminate the possible threats and determine the most suitable weapon system for the weapon officer to deal with them. The FCS-3 has four-phase array antennas. It uses the C-band for search and the X-band for ESSM weapon control. The FCS-3 can simultaneously detect about 300 targets at 200 km range. The range of the OPS-20C surface search radar is 46.3 km. The ship also has the OQQ-21 sonar system, which delivers high accuracy in detection distance and shallow water. Via the sonar, the Hyuga class can attack enemy submarines with the Type 97 lightweight torpedoes and the VL ASROG missiles. The OQQ-21 also helps detect a possible torpedo attack and launch countermeasures. The ship has one 16-cell Mark 41 vertical launching system for the RAM-162 ESSM air defense and RUM-139 VL ASRAC anti-submarine warfare missiles. The RUM-139 VL ASRAC is an inertial navigation system-guided missile carrying a Mark 46 Mod 5A lightweight torpedo. Its range is 22 km. The Mark 46 Mod 5A has an active or passive active acoustic homing guidance system and a range of 11,000 meters. The torpedo can be effective at a depth of 370 meters. Japan plans to replace the VL ASRAX with domestically developed Type 07 missiles. This missile has 8 km longer range. The Hyuga class can launch the Type 97 lightweight torpedoes from its triple torpedo tubes. The RIM-162 ESSM air defense missile has a range of 50 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4. The rate of fire for the 20mm 6-barrel Mark 15 Phalanx close weapon system is 4,500 rounds per minute. Its effective range is only about 1,500 meters. The effectiveness of the Phalanx against the latest Chinese anti-ship missiles, such as YJ-12 with a maximum speed of Mach 4, is questionable. Instead of its missiles and close weapon systems, the primary weapon system of the Hyuga class is its helicopters. In general, the ships of this class carry three SH-60K anti-submarine warfare and one MCH-101 mine countermeasures and transport helicopter. But they can carry up to 11 helicopters. For a conventional surface combatant with an aft helipad, the time between landing a helicopter and taking off another is generally 20 minutes. But thanks to its aircraft carrier-like design, the Hyuga class allows simultaneous operation of three helicopters. So, the ship gives a tremendous combat capability enhancement to the JMSDF compared to the previous Haruna class. The hangar is 120 meters long and 19 to 20 meters wide, but only a 60 meter part is suitable to park. The rest is generally used to carry supplies and vehicles. This part also includes the maintenance section. Two big elevators connect the hangar to the flight deck. The front elevator is 20 meters long and 10 meters wide, while the rear elevator is 20 meters long and 13 meters wide. 
The Hyuga class has two small elevators to transfer crew and light cargo such as ammunition. The small elevator at the front is also used for moving the sick or injured person to the medical bay. The Hyuga class has operated AH-64D Apache, CH-47JA Chinook and the UH-60J helicopters in several exercises and operations. Thus, the ship has proven it can support an amphibious operation by transferring the combat troops to the shore and providing air support. Besides, the ship can perform humanitarian missions such as disaster relief and search and rescue. Also, in 2013, the US Marine Corps deployed its V-22 Ospreys on JS Hyuga during joint amphibious exercises. Three years later, this ship operated the US MV-22 Ospreys for the relief efforts following the Kumamoto earthquake. As a non-combatant country, Japan has generally deployed the Hyuga-class ships in naval exercises, humanitarian operations and goodwill missions. But occasionally, the JMSTF also used these vessels for more intense duties. On February 10, 2012, JS Hyuga spotted and monitored four Chinese Navy frigates, which sailed about 110 kilometers northeast of Miyakojima. In June 2017, alongside Atago class destroyer JS Ashinana, JS Hyuga joined the US Navy's Carrier Strike Group 1 and Carrier Strike Group 5 to respond to tensions caused by the North Korean nuclear weapons program. The JMSDF's classification of Hyuga class as destroyers has caused some criticism. Of course, these vessels are nothing like a destroyer regarding their size and design. They look like aircraft carriers. But different from the Izumo class, the Hyuga class has a mission definition close to a destroyer. Their onboard systems give these ships similar combat capabilities to the current multi-mission frigates. So, they can conduct conventional naval operations other than anti-surface warfare without using their helicopters. Yet, JS Izumo and JS Kaga have only close-range defensive weapons. They can only rely on their helicopters for many types of missions. As mentioned in our Izumo class video, JS Izumo and JS Kaga are not helicopter destroyers but future aircraft carriers. Japan is now reinforcing these vessels' deck for the F-35B. However, there is no known plan for similar work for JS Hyuga and JS Ise. The Japanese industry needs raw materials coming from overseas. So, in a possible war, Japan would also need effective escort fleets to keep the sea lines open while the main fleet would fight. During the last 20 years, amphibious assault ships, which can also serve as light aircraft carriers, have become a new trend for many navies. Thanks to their flexible design, these multi-purpose vessels can perform many types of missions in wartime. In peacetime, the amphibious assault ships execute important tasks for the humanitarian missions. We can say that the Hyuga class, so-called helicopter destroyers, are the Japanese style of this new trend. In wartime, they can perform different combat mission types, such as anti-submarine warfare, escort and amphibious assault. JS Hyuga and JS Ise have also proved themselves for humanitarian missions in peacetime. Our analysis is that the classification of the Hyuga class has a unique position between amphibious assault ships and destroyers, but not semi-aircraft carriers. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.